Okay, so now that the dinosaur heroes, or the prehistoric heroes, are out, uh, we have a new team perk, and we also have a new OP soldier build. So basically, the team perk is that it removes all your shield and increases your max health by 200%. You just have to put two dinosaur heroes in it. I thought originally you had to put three, but it's just two. And this actually works perfectly with the dinosaurs themselves. So... Uh, the main hero you're going to want to use is Rescue Trooper Ramirez because she increases assault damage by 50%. And then you're going to want Survivalist Jonesy because every time you eliminate, you're going to be incre you're going to be getting your health back, which is going to be the main way that you restore your health. So that's definitely important. And then you have this guy, Rex Jonesy. He is he was in the store, I believe. So. Every one second, he adds 3% of your current health to the damage of your next ranged weapon hit. So that's any ranged weapon, and that's every second it's going to be adding a percentage of your health. So now that you have twice the amount of health, it's going to be adding a crazy amount of damage to your health. Uh, as long as you keep your health high, obviously, but Survivalist Jones is going to do that for you. And then next we have Prehistoric Izza who was in the store as well, I think she's in the store as well, yeah. So she gives you an increase in armor when your shield is depleted, and because you have no shield, this is going to be all the time. <laughs> so your armor is going to be crazy high all the time, which means you're obviously going to take less damage, which is perfect for soldiers because soldiers like to get up close and personal with weapons. And then you want locked and loaded. So this is Skull Ranger Ramirez, she gives you a weapon increase on the damage after you reload, which is perfect if you have a lot of weapons that reload fast. And then finally I put in Redline Ramirez because I use a sniper in my third slot for killing mist monsters. This is perfectly up to you, like who you want to choose for the last spot. You could pretty much whack anyone in there that works with your loadout. And this, this build also works with a crit build, so if you want to put Sledgehammer in there, um, let's see if I can find him quickly. But yeah, if you want to whack him in there as, instead, that's absolutely fine, do that. That will also be a strong build, I just don't like crit builds that much, so I am using full <laughs> assault damage. So yeah, I'll show you the weapons because they have fast reload. So first I have the Wraith, reload time 1.3. That is crazy fast reload time. So every time I shoot a couple of bullets, I reload, and then the weapon damage is pretty much staying at that increased damage all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, destroy the encampments, because uh, I think it'll show how <laughs> how good the you know the increased armor and increased health with Survivalist Jonesy works. So I wouldn't usually use a soldier in this mission. I'd usually use an Outlander with a Teddy, but. I think a soldier's going to be really good here. Um, as long as I'm using the right weapons, you know? Search the zone and keep an eye out for any encampments that look angrier than usual. I'll keep an eye out from here. <laughs> nope. Right, well that was quite easy. Not possible. As you can see, I'm using 106 weapons against 94. Like I said, I usually would use 130s probably here just to make it easy. <laughs> but there's just no need. Like, look how... Look how fast this absolutely shreds. Oops. The super shredder is doing massive damage because every second it's going to be adding uh, damage onto it when I switch to it. So basically, the longer I wait before I shoot the mist monster with it, the more damage it's going to do. Let's see if I can actually compare the damage difference. So the the damage should be increasing now every second until I shoot, so let's see how much damage this does. 2, 8, oh, it's hard to see. <laughs> but this one does 17. 17, 8. 16, 8. Alright, so it's about 17,000 for a regular headshot. Now let's see if we can compare that to if I wait a while, let the damage build up a bit. It's 20,000 and that was a bad shot as well. 
I'll try it again. I'll wait around a couple of seconds. Uh, wait until she stands still. 43,000. I think that might have been a crit hit. <laughs> There's no way that was just from the health. Uh, I'll try it again, see if I can find um, another enemy to test it on. Ah, yeah. Nope. Let's see, we'll test it on this guy. 144,000? That must have been a crit hit then, right? All right, let's try let's try it on a regular husk because that's what I used in the first place. So that's twenty five thousand, and then seventeen thousand normally, nineteen thousand because I'd waited. Twenty thousand. So you can see that a regular shot is seventeen thousand. So basically, yeah, you can tell the difference um, that the weapons are going to be doing, you know, more damage every second because of this um, hero in support. Now it'd be even more if you used him as your main hero, so um, that's something to think about. But I wanted to use Ramirez as my main because I just wanted to increase weapon damage overall, every shot more than doing like individual shots. Oh, there's another wave. <laughs> And then as you can see, I'm barely taking any damage because of this increased armor. And then I heal it pretty much straight away by killing them with Survivalist. Look, you heal a lot from killing them. That is really useful. I think this is a really, really good build. Um, this is probably going to be my main, the, the main build that I use now when I use Soldier. It's so good. <laughs> Two players AFK at the moment, which is just beautiful. Gotta love this game. I like how invested everyone is into the game. Absolutely not a dying game whatsoever. God, it's so annoying. Ooh, missed monster. Probably could have tested the... Oh, let's go for it then. Alright, that's hard to uh, do with all these guys. <laughs> And my turret's killing it, so I should probably test that without uh, the turret spraying it. So on the next encampment, I can test it. Test it. Test it. <laughs> well, I'm getting absolutely riddled by loads of husks here, and I'm still on very high health. This is a really good build, honestly. Alright, so let's see if we can get mist monsters and leave them alive as the last enemy are we getting any mist monsters no <laughs> right well got in a bit of a sticky situation then but uh it's all fine now all right oh uh, we don't have a turret yet so i should probably wait for the other guy to get here uh you know what let's just try it Let's see how well we do against this encampment without turret. What we see here now anyway, so <laughs> it's all good. Looks like they're getting like reduced damage when they're in the uh, death mist things. To watch TV with a sad, wet robot. Thanks for taking one for the team. Go help him. No, no, let's watch. What are we watching? Just the pure ability to be like absolutely riddled by husks but take so little damage is just so fun. <laughs> it's like being a ninja. Well, yeah, it's like being a ninja but you don't take damage. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'll end the video there because. I think I've shown enough <laughs> of how good it is. I don't think there's any need to show the rest of it. Um, so yeah, it's definitely like the best build I reckon in the game right now for 
um, efficiency, I guess. Not not the best for like you know damage output, although it it does have one of the best damage outputs. But yeah, it's the best for survivability. It's the best for if you wanted to solo a mission, I guess it would be really good because of having more health and more ways to heal uh, by yourself. But yeah. If you did find it useful or liked the video itself, uh, please leave a like and let me know what you think about this build. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to do so as well and I will see you in the next one.